Since the directions asks us to complete the table, we're going to have to use all the x values and then find the corresponding y values. So arbitrarily, we'll just start with x equals negative 2. Now we plug negative 2 in for x and we have to solve for y. And after some algebra, we get y equals 6, and that's going to be the corresponding y value for x equal negative 2 in the table. And we have to do that for all the values of x in the table, so we're just going to pick another value. Uh, I guess I'll just do x equal to 0. Plugging that in, needing to solve for y again. Get 2y equal to 8, produces y equal to 4, and that's going to correspond with x equal to 0. Now I'm just going to fill in the table. You can do the work on your own. And there's the graph of the equation. As you can see, it'll pass through every point on that, every ordered pair in the table.